<clears throat> Hello. Will you press the button? You have amazing and free Wi-Fi no matter where you go. But you can never use Twitter again. Opie, is this supposed to be a dilemma? And to you, my favorite blobo, I give you the greatest gift of all, a complicated relationship with your idea of self and how you relate to the rest of society. Mmm, delightful. Never ask a girl if she wants to become a werewolf because she's always going to say yes because girls love tearing things apart with their teeth and ripping people to shreds with their claws. It's a foregone conclusion. An immutable fact of our universe, really, when you think about it. Just, just, they're always, they're always gonna say yes. Always. Hey, listen. You know, it's all right if you can't fully relate to others' queer experiences. You're not living theirs. You're living your own. And perhaps that's a sign the world just needs to see what your lived experience is like. Someone else out there could feel a lot like you. You know, we gotta start taking child having an absolute meltdown in public not just as a circumstance to be compassionate about, but as the valuable opportunity it is. I personally like to close my eyes and pretend I'm the one who's screaming. Scream for a song, you little nugget. The reason why God hasn't given me really good art skills is because he fears of what ungodly horrors I would make. I'm here, I'm queer, and I'd like to go back to bed now. Please. Man, we live in a timeline when the best computers decisively beat humans at poker, chess, Go, and StarCraft, but not competitive 6v6 singles Pokemon. That really just shows you how good Pokemon players are. Horrible writing prompt. The first sentient robot to realize deceased humans and animals can't be repaired or backed up on a server is gonna be so devastated. I fix. 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 Please stop. One thing about me is that I say floor time and lay down on the floor until I feel better. It's the best. I really could use it after the last post. I know everything. Ask me something. How to remove Atlantic Ocean. Mmm. Spend. Reblog if your name isn't Amanda. 2,121,556 people are not Amanda and counting. We'll find you, Amanda. This has almost 11 million notes. What is this? I've never seen this post once in 10 years on this site. All right, fess up. One of you is obviously lying. There's an Amanda in there. Might drive my Chevy to the levee. It better not be dry, though. <sighs> you guys won't fucking believe this. Oh, no. What were them good old boys drinking? Oh my god, Whiskey and Rye, and they were saying what? Yeah. So, are we talking subtext, implied, heavily implied, borderline, practically canon, not disproved by canon, creator acknowledged, or actually canon? You shut your mouth! Pair of eldritch beings that torment seemingly random people with impromptu, whimsical sketch comedy. Yeah, it's called a YouTube prank channel. And they didn't do well. Okay, so Haumia, a dwarf planet beyond Pluto, spins so fast it gets elongated like this. This is just what it looks like. Something deeply unsettles me looking at it. It's terrifying. This is, this is so fucked up. This planet looks like a cool rock someone found at a creek. One day it's going to hatch, then all of you will be sorry. Hang on, are you saying that Haumia could undergo mitosis? Would, would you prefer meiosis? That sounds terrifying. Someone's entire work uniform, like the hat, shirt, and pants is just thrown on the ground in this parking lot? Yo, they quick quit. Bro, this isn't funny. He despawned. Please delete this. You know what? You're absolutely right. I'm, I'm sorry. Andy, just delete the whole video. I'm sorry.